Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hello, guys. Welcome back. This is Omni Flash. Today, we're going to do an engraving video. This is going to tell you everything about engraving and what to do to prepare for the engraving update. What we're having soon is that engraving is getting a whole new revamp, and we will have engraving resonance i really enjoy engraving and lots of you have asked for a guide and so here it is we're going to show you how to engrave and what's the best way to do about it you have to understand something about engraving it is sort of like guaranteed battle rating you can never fail an engraving so you can never lose your battle rating the rewards that you get from engraving isn't as great as if you succeed and enhance. However, you can fail enhances and you can lose that away. If you engrave, which you should try to, and I'll show you how, you will gain some battle rating and which will make you stronger. All the stats available for uh, for engraving are very valuable. Their attack stats and key defense stats. All right, so right now there is a pack, the X Xmas Christmas pack, which is basically, this is the Christmas weapon skin pack. And I always get this because it usually comes with a seven day wing or a seven day costume. And if you get that, it will make it cheaper for you to actually buy the costume. However, this, this pack is super nice because you get a permanent weapon skin and since the pack is only 58 bound ingots you will be getting the permanent weapon skin after you open this box 30 times and you can get it earlier but it's rare it's uh, sometimes most of the times you have to open it 30 times so I mean that's not it's about 1700 bound ingots you get a permanent weapon skin then it feels like everything else you get from the box is free which half of the items that you will get from the box is engraving mats so be sure to get this pack you will get elysium stones you get engraving mats you get all sorts of things that you will need and uh, if you like collecting this is a permanent weapon skin and definitely definitely do get it all right, so do note that that pack gives you, after you buy 30 of that pack, you get the weapon skin. And then you see the costume I'm wearing, that's just part of the event, and that is only seven days. However, the, the weapon is, is forever if you get that pack. You will also be able to just go ahead and get engraving materials straight from the marketplace. It's not a bad place to get it, but you do need silver ingots, which isn't, which isn't something that you get a ton of. So, so there are other places that you can get them too. You can get them from events, such as the Path of Ashura. Try to make sure you get to the Path of Ashura. That is a good way to get engraving mats. There are other events that you can do to get engraving materials as well. And you can do treasure maps. Doing treasure maps, just uh, go digging up treasure maps will also get you engraving materials. A really great way to get engraving mats is to do the tower. And you want to climb the tower as high as you can get because the more tower levels that you beat, the more pearls you get every day by clearing them. So what you want to do is you want to get a bunch of health potions, the best health potions, you want the best mana food, you want the best HP food, and you can kite the monsters if they're short range. If they're short range monsters, you just hit them and you just run away and heal up and keep killing them. That's one of the best ways in order to climb up the tower however it, if they are long range you have no choice but to sort of tank them and try to burst down as many of the enemy monsters as you can before they can kill you all right so in engraving i do recommend that you engrave everything equally now a lot of people may want to engrave and focus on their attack stats and I would say hey, that's not a bad idea 
that. Uh, however, you do use a lot more mats, a lot more mats on the higher levels. For example, we're using tier one materials. At tier one, level one mats, you will use like one mat. At tier 20, which gives you the same amount of, of battle rating, it will use a whole lot more mats, maybe like 10 mats or 15 mats. So it has diminishing returns. So it is best to level up your engraving across the board equally because you, you do get less reward at the higher levels. Also, there's another thing that's coming is engraving resonance. Engraving resonance is coming, so it's very similar to gear resonance and stuff like that. You do want, and soul stone resonance, anything that's resonance, basically you want, across the board, you want your engraving the same level. You will get engraving bonuses from uh, resonance. So that is coming very soon, so do be sure to engrave across the board at about the same level this way you will have the same resonance if you waste all your resources and focus too much on your attack stats which is which is which is nice then you may not have enough resources to raise up the rest of your engravings in order to achieve resonance and that is that is coming up soon one thing to keep in mind is if you do have some level two, if you do have some tier two engraving mats, is that if you are trying to rush your attack stats like I tried, you will have to you have to you have to level up to twenty both stats on that piece of equipment before you can use tier two. So as you can see right here, I'm unable to I'm it just can't use tier two until you get both stats both stats on your on your equipment to level 20. similarly you won't be able to use tier three mats for engraving until both stats on that piece of gear is level 40. tier four you have to have both stats up at level 60. to be honest tier 3 and tier 4 is very hard to get it takes a lot of resources tier 1 and tier 2 is about where you want to be right now I'm using tier 1 and tier 2 mats so I'm going to go ahead and max out at level 20 both of the stats on my weapon so we're going to get that both stats up to level 20 as you can see it takes like 100 points at tier 1 and at tier 17 at level 17 it takes 950 points so each level that you go higher it's going to take more materials but for each level that you get you get the same amount of stats all right so we're about to hit 20 when we hit 20 we can st finally start using tier two mats and once we're in there you can see that it's real real easy it doesn't take very matter uh, much mats you can get from 21 you can get to 25 and then it gets a little harder so it's just like in engraving materials level one it starts out real easy it starts out with just 100 points and for each 100 points then it goes up at 24 is 340 points at 25 it's 400 points so i'm going to say <clears throat> go ahead and try to break through try to break through 2020 if you have enough mats what you can do is you go to tower you can go to the tower and you can buy the g1 mats not with your pearls but with just regular gold if you do your life skills like i've said before you can use you can make probably 300k easy 300 500k easy each day if you buy if you use life skills then you can buy those engraving mats uh i think they're like six thousand six thousand gold for engraving mats you can buy all of those in tower every day and try to get to level 20 and then you can start using G2 mats for your engraving and maybe raise that to 25. 
that that'll be your goal. Well, that's my goal, and uh, and then try to raise everything up at the same level. This way, you'll have a good resonance. I hope this video helped you out. This is all I have for right now. When the engraving resonance comes out, I'll make a guide for that also. So yeah, resonance is a great way to increase your battle ready. You do need it. It does make you a little bit stronger. It won't make you incredibly strong, but this is very safe BR that you shouldn't miss out on. Thanks for watching. If anyone has any questions or something to add, please comment below. Please like this video, subscribe, and let me know anything else that you want to see in the future videos. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe.